All right, guys, here are the country style ribs. I'm going to go ahead and spray them first with this extra virgin olive oil. And this is a spray, Gnostic spray. It's Crisco, but you can use any brand you want. And this helps just to let the seasoning stick on the ribs. I also have my ribs sitting on newspaper. You always want to sanitize your surface and clean afterwards. But I like to prevent some of the cleanup if I can. So I just put a lot of my things on paper sometimes. But I'm going to go ahead and season it up with garlic salt. Garlic powder. Just a little bit of garlic powder since there's already, of course, some in the garlic salt. Cajun seasoning, ground pepper, and Italian seasoning. So you may ask, why do I use garlic powder and garlic salt? To me, it's, it's just still a different taste. It's just still a different taste. Um, I'm out of Lowry's. I usually use a little bit of Lowry's on my meats, but I'm out of it. So I'm going to use these five, and it's still going to be very, very good. <clears throat> All right, guys. I know some people do complain on different videos, not just mine, but other people's videos that I watch too, that not everybody gives exact measurements for the seasonings. And it's just kind of hard, but I'm going to do my best. Um... It's like when you cook all the time, you just kind of go by eye. But when you're trying to teach other people, I know it can be frustrating not to know the exact measurements, especially when you're first learning to cook. So what we're going to do, and this is the kind of shaker that it's in. So I'm just going to go like that. This is about one-fourth to a half of garlic salt. I would say one-fourth of a teaspoon. I'm going to take the Cajun seasoning. This doesn't come out as fast so I have to shake more for the amount that I want. So I'm going to do about one-fourth teaspoon of this as well. I'm going to do this off camera because when I do it on camera it shakes my whole body which makes me shake the camera. Okay here is the garlic powder. This comes out a little more freely, so it doesn't make me shake as hard, so I can do it on camera. So that's about a fourth of a teaspoon there. And of course, you may have to do it, if you are a beginner cook, just go ahead and, this is pepper right here. You can go ahead and measure it out in a teaspoon, but it's going to be a little less than a fourth of pepper. I don't like to over pepper mine, but if you like pepper, go ahead and put a lot of pepper on yours. So pepper, I use about one eighth of a teaspoon. This is the Italian seasonings. So I'm gonna go ahead. This comes out a little liberal. So I can put it on without shaking a whole bunch. I'm gonna put one fourth teaspoon also. So that's it guys. All you're going to do is go ahead and massage and turn the meat, getting the seasonings on the front, back and sides. And I'm going to let it rest in the refrigerator. You cover it up and let it rest in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Alright guys, so you spray the inside with olive oil and I'm using the Crisco. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put these in to the air fryer. They've been sitting in the refrigerator, or rather marinating in the refrigerator. Let me get this situated. And I'm going to put these in the air fryer like so. Spread them out a little bit so the air can circulate real good. All right, scoot that over a little bit more. A little bit more. What can I get it right in the middle? Right in the middle. Okay, that's better. Put them in. Oops. Put them in. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the power on. 
put it up to 390 and I'm going to set it on 15 minutes. I'm going to turn it over after about seven minutes and see what we're working with. Okay, time to stop it. Mm, that looks pretty good. Had to turn on the um, flash so you can see in here really good. Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay, so I'm flip, oops, flipping these over. Trying to flip them over. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this one flat on this side. Doesn't too much matter, but okay. Got them flipped. Put them back in. I got seven minutes left, but I think I'm gonna try to stop them before seven minutes, maybe at the two minute left mark, just to see know how they're looking because pork gets ready faster than beef you know so I want to check it I don't want it to get too done okay y'all it's at the two minute mark and I'm gonna go ahead and stop it all right let's see I don't want to poke it too hard because I don't want the juices to run out I'm not supposed to do that if possible uh, I know sometimes you, of course, poke it to turn it if you got a fork. I should be using tongs. <laughs> so if y'all do this, use your tongs. Let's see here. Let me turn these. I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put them on in for the last two minutes. I think they can go a little bit longer. those they're still sizzling so you all should have brought my tripod down here in the kitchen hold just a second okay I had to grab my sweet baby rays this is my sweet baby rays I just cracked this open this is a new bottle this is my favorite sauce hands down I've had the sweet baby rays regular it's fine. I've had the Hawaiian something or another. I've had the Vidalia onion and it's okay. I'll try some more, but this is my go-to. This is my favorite. And I might stop trying the other ones, but this is my this is so good. You don't need to add anything. Not anything. So let me put some on here. Oops. squeeze it on and then I'm going to brush it on with the brush with the sauce brush okay and you know what you all I'm gonna put these in for one minute maybe not even that and then I'm just gonna let them sit because I don't really want to I've never this is non-stick this is a non-stick coating but I don't want to mess it up either. And this oven, this little fryer oven is still hot. Let me turn this over to the other side. This, like I said, you should have tongs. <laughs> so I don't want to just... Okay, let's see. I'll get this side. And then I'm going to have to flip it over and do the other side. But anyway, you get the gist. Get it all basted. I'll be back. Looky, looky. Deliciousness. Deliciousness. Y'all, if y'all don't have an air fryer, y'all get out and get y'all one. You can get them at Walmart. Target. I got this at Target at Christmas time. You can go back and see my unboxing and everything. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stick this on in here just for a minute. Put it back. I'm just going to leave it on 370. I'm going to do... Come on now. One minute and probably less than that. And let it go. And then 
after the one minute or less than one minute, whichever I choose to do, I'm going to just let it sit in the hot air fryer because I don't want this um, the sauce to just get cooked on my nonstick bottom, even though it's supposed to be nonstick. And it has been thus far. I just don't want to get it all sticky and icky. And I think the heat from the air fryer that's still in there after I turn it off, the heat from the air fryer will get it all nice and gooey just like you like it on your barbecue ribs. So I'll be back and let you see what it looks like after it's set for about maybe five minutes or so. Mm, 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 mm. Here it is after sitting five minutes and that looks so good. So let me plate them up. All right, you guys. Here it is. Ooh, cut easy. Not that I expected less, <laughs> but these, that's a slice right through. Wow. Hit it out the ballpark. Yes, I did. <laughs> those, mm, those are so good. They are tender. I tell you all, the air fryer gets your meat tender. Oh my goodness, that's good. So, okay, it's right before Memorial Day when I'm filming this, but of course you can do this anytime. You don't have to pull out the grill if you don't want to. If you have a small family or whatever, and you, you all want to get out and, you know, do something you don't want to be in cooking all day and then fall over after everybody else, you know, has eaten and stuff. Get your air fryer out. Do the ribs in the air fryer, y'all. And do your size. Your, sh your size don't have to be anything outrageous. You can do a real nice fruit salad. Um, you don't even have to do mac and cheese if you want to. Some people do those uh, pastas with the salad dressings on them. You know, the cold pasta. Or, you know, put on some green beans. Put some baked beans on them. Bush's baked beans are real good. I doctor mine's up. But some people just do them straight out of the can. Bushes are good. Straight out of the can. Um, let's see what else. What else can you stick up? Put your potato salad, slaw, or whatever. You know, and have you a good old time on Memorial Day. Or whatever occasion you're making these for. Alright, so y'all enjoy these ribs. Get an air fryer if you don't have one. And, uh, yeah. It, it, it just... It speeds up time. It frees your time, rather. It frees up your time. You don't have to turn on the oven or pull out the grill all the time. Their air fryer is a lifesaver. All right, guys. Love you all. If you have any questions, please put them down below. And I'll see you guys right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.